Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Olisi, the son of Nobe. And uh, I'm here just to update because we're getting questions as to whether it's true that the court made its ruling yesterday based on the uh, leave of appeal that was sought by the Minister of Home Affairs, Dr. Aaron Mutsualeti, in as far as the Zimbabwe exemption permits is concerned. You'll remember that the Helen Susman Foundation took the minister to court for his cancellation of the Zimbabwe exemption permit without due consultation with the holders of the Zimbabwe exemption permit. So what has happened now is that the minister, uh, when the court ruled uh, initially, it said that uh, the cancellation of the Zimbabwe exemption permit was unconstitutional and illegal. So now the minister sought leave of appeal because the Helen Sussman Foundation wanted him to be bound by the decision of the court and as well as do uh, what is required to do by law based on that particular ruling which is to extend as the court said the validity of the Zimbabwe exemption permit to the 30th of June 2024 which is what the court ruled you will remember that the minister had initially extended the moratorium on the Zimbabwe exemption permits to the 31st of December this year, which means that the ZEP holders had up to 31 December this year to have moved from the ZEP to the mainstream South African permit for which they qualify. So the Helen Sussman Foundation took the minister to court and uh, won in that court case. The ruling was made in June. So yesterday, uh, after the minister sought leave of appeal, uh, the court then made its final decision yesterday based on what the minister had brought forward and what they said the Kauteng High Court in Pretoria dismissed uh, the Home Affairs Minister's uh, case uh, that is the application for leave of appeal against the ruling uh, on his de decision to terminate the ZEP. So the court uh, had ruled, as I've said, in June that Mutsualeti's failure to consult with ZEP holders, interested NGOs, and the public was unlawful, unconstitutional, and invalid. So that court uh, in June extended the permit uh, that is ZEP from that June for the next 12 months, which is up to the end of June uh, 2024, pending the conclusion of a fair process which includes an adequate public participation process, which the court uh, found had not been done before 7 June cassette of uh, the ZEP termination. The court also ordered is that ZEP holders must be allowed to leave or enter South Africa um, and may not be dealt with in terms of section 29, 30 and 32 of the Immigration Act on the basis that they are ZEP holders. So uh, the minister then applied for, for leave of appeal against that judgment, which he said was dangerous, uh, would set a, a dangerous precedent because it fails to recognize the separation of powers between the judiciary and the executive of which the minister is uh, a member of the later. So the department in its uh, leave of appeal application said those uh, were the findings of the court on the applicability of certain sections of the Promotion of Administrative Justice Act, uh, which the Department of Home Affairs said was highly questionable, particularly uh, the requirement for public participation when a decision of this nature is taken, affecting a specified category of persons only. In this instance, he was talking about the affected Zimbabweans were holders of the ZEP. Mutsualeti also appealed uh, because he believed the matter dealt with the separation of powers to which the court uh, ruled his grounds for application for leave of appeal were flawed. So the court on Monday uh, then said Mutsualeti's application was destined for failure because he did not depose an answering affidavit in the review proceedings. Uh, I will quote uh, briefly what the court said. Only the minister, as the decision maker, would give evidence as to what passed through his mind and how his mind was exercised. 
the rest of the minister's grounds for leave, of appeal, for leave to appeal are not necessary to traverse. It is enough to conclude by pointing out that the court was at pains to explain that its order under section 8, subsection 1, subsection E of uh, Pacha was temporary relief which is distinct from a substitution order under section 8, subsection 1, subsection C, subsection A, subsection 2, subsection AA of Pacha and is just and equitable remedy in terms of sub, of section 172 subsection 1 subsection b of the constitution so then the court dismissed the application for leave to appeal the judgment though so now people are asking what does this mean what this means is that um as of now the validity of the zimbabwean exemption permit is extended to 30 June 2024. You can go home, enjoy with your families, come back here in South Africa. You will still be somebody with a permit, a valid permit. So your permit is valid up to at least the 28th or the 30th of June uh, 2024. But that doesn't mean that after the 20, after the 30th of June 2024, the ZEP is now uh, shut out or has been terminated because the minister still has to go through these processes which he has been accused of not having gone through. That is the consultation process with Zimbabwe exemption permit holders, with relevant uh, non-governmental organizations and under st other stakeholders. Uh, whose interests are with the Zimbabweans who are especially under the Zimbabwean exemption permit. Well, the minister may choose to take another legal route. He may then maybe appeal uh, to a higher court to have this uh, Houting High Court decision uh, resigned or overturned. You will remember that he has threatened before that he is going to leave no stone unturned. He said that he is going to appeal all the way, if needs be, to the Constitutional Court. So, far from this being over, it is still a case that is likely to go through a protracted legal battle unless and until the minister is advised by those he works with, his advisors, that this is a futile exercise, if it is a futile exercise, because he has failed to prove that there was due consultation or why there wasn't any due consultation. He failed to deposit such an affidavit. So what it means is that, as of now, the court ruling of June 2023, which extended the validity of, Zimbabwe, of the Zimbabwe exemption permit to June 2024, is still standing. So this is where we are. The minister hasn't yet responded to his loss in court, but what we expect is that he's likely to explore other legal avenues if he is not advised against continuing to challenge this court decision. So if he doesn't challenge it, it means that then there will be due consultation. Maybe he will take this time the next... Uh, few months up to the up to june 2024 to consult he might decide not to consult and fight it in court we don't know about that but what it means right now is that uh unless and until he makes his next move the zimbabwe exemption permits are valid up to at least june 2024 so it is true that the minister has lost this case it is true that the zep is valid up to 28 or up to the 30th of june 2024 as per what the court ruled in june this year so this is what we had for you we will continue to get uh some comments from the department of home affairs or hear what the minister's response is going to be then we will update you but don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it but if you also have some questions please send them through 
we will uh, respond to them where we don't understand we will also seek uh, answers from those who are in the know and then we will relay those messages back to you thank you very much